Hi everybody, PJ here, and today I'm outside. Where is it? It's, there we go. Workshop Galvanising Limited. Now, I have been here before, quite a while ago, but it was before the days of the Dread Drone. So, uh, let's have a walk down and see what we can see. It's quite an interesting site, and it's quite a big site as well. So, let's go and have a look, shall we? Now then, as you can see, we've got a... We've got a vehicle here waiting to go in. It looks like some kind of tipper. What they've got on or what they're collecting, I've no idea. But with a bit of luck, we might find out. Right, while I'm walking down here, we'll, uh, we'll send the drone up and have a good look at the site, shall we? Now, as you can see, it is quite a large site. This bright sunshine doesn't help, I must admit. But, uh, you know, see, see how cold it is as well. We've got snow in the background there. Now that big building there is where they do all the galvanising and at the other end of the building is the other gate that I came to last time as you can see we've got lots and lots of steel stacked all over the place all ready for galvanising and the yard goes right round here look so they've got a fairly big uh, stockyard and as you can see it's a big estate that that you can see in the background there that's the OXO place make oxo cubes and one or two other things as well uh, noodles and all the rest of it, bachelor's noodles and all the rest right let's get the old dread drone down and uh, we'll see what else we can see from the ground Now we'll just hold it there, we've got another vehicle approaching. Now why he's come this side I don't know. But anyway, we'll fetch the drone further forward. He sees us stopping on the other side, so we'll be fine here. Landing. Right, so we've got a site plan here, it tells us uh, what everything is. We've got de-jigging, galvanised work, fettling yard, and there's the galvin bath. Uh, galvanising bath which is uh, what we could see from above it is a large building how are you doing you and there we go got a couple of vehicles going in now but it certainly is brass monkey weather today it's not as cold as yesterday it was bloody freezing yesterday. Who? Oh. From Aurora. Aurora? Aurora. Hey, come far, mate. Nah, just from Leeds. From Leeds? Yeah. Not much of a run for you today, then? Yeah, I've got a nice little round trip to yeah. get it back home, right? So, I'll yeah. Right. You sound like a Geordie to me. Yeah. Whereabouts? Gateshead. Gateshead? Yeah. Uh, my daughter lives up that way, she lives at Durham. Oh, right, I. Yeah. Went into uh, Newcastle last weekend for Christmas Fair. Oh, 
all right, yes. It was, the mortgage. It was shit, mate. Ah, uh, it was shit last year as well. Wasn't Absolute it? bloody rubbish. I'll tell you something, though. I have never been to a place where Wi-Fi is as crap as it is at Newcastle. <laughs> it's bloody awful, isn't it? Ah, uh, to be fair, like, well, I've got a 5G mast. Not, not too far away from where I live, like, so... Yeah, I mean, where I am, but I'm on about in city centre. Oh, in the centre itself. Oh, it's yeah. terrible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't really go in. I only live what two miles away from the city centre itself. I, I never go in. I don't like going into Newcastle. It's too busy. Yeah. Too busy nowhere to park. You get charged the coach to park there. So never bother. Of course, we went in a football match. We on uh, Newcastle versus ah, Chelsea. Yeah. I think they won, didn't they? Three uh, one. Four one. Four one was uh, it? Ended up scoring later on. Yeah, and uh, on train on way back, they were all pissed up and singing on train. <laughs> so somebody had had a good day. Oh, uh, when Newcastle won four one, like you know, it was, a good, it was a good result, good game. Yeah, it was a good yeah. result for Newcastle. Not very good for Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea are very inconsistent at the minute, though, aren't they? I don't know, mate. Uh, I don't really follow football. Uh, I only know because they were all in town singing and cheering and then on train back back down to Durham they were all on train going back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, there were hundreds of the buggies. What you doing like to score for yourself? Yeah, just come down do a few videos, a bit of YouTubing and stuff uh, like I've that. Seen a, a few of your videos like? You've seen? Uh, a few of the videos on YouTube. Yeah, who am I then? I don't know what you because you're not around with that DJ, did not you? DJ, yeah, well, uh, DJ's my mate, so uh, you must know who I am. I can't, I can't remember, I haven't seen the videos in that long. PJ, oh, PJ, I did used to be a driving instructor, mate, that's a long time ago. Wait, very long time ago. Yeah, I used to teach cars and then I moved on to teaching all this stuff and then fork trucks and all that lot. Right. Uh, I'm retired now, so I just go out and make some YouTube videos. Uh, it's mad though, do you know what, right? Like, you're watching the videos and it's like, why the fuck am I watching this? But it, it sucks you in, doesn't it? I went to uh, Tadcaster, uh, not yesterday, the day before, yes. Tetley Brewery. Yes. All security were threatening to come out and beat me up. <laughs> Crazy, oh, isn't it? Mad. I've been here before, but that's before I had drone. Right. So I thought I'd come down this I've time. I've actually been in here before. You've not been here before? No. What, what are you fetching in? Just a bit of stuff for galvanising? Uh, well, I for the, is there more than one company in here, like, is it? No, there's, they've got another gate around the other side, but that's a, this is the inner gate and that's the outer uh, gate, I think. I've seen the sign on the road there, like, good yeah. change over the office. Let's go down there because it's sat down once you go. So you come M1 or A1? M1. A1's a nightmare at the minute, they've got those roadworks on, haven't they? Uh, Shite everywhere, man. Oh, it's really right. terrible. And you, you've got the, the Angel of the North. But obviously, you took the train, didn't you? Yeah. On the year one. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's horrible, mate. Every day I've got to sit in the traffic. Like, yeah. Pass away on the year one. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah. So, what made you move to Leeds then? Oh, I haven't moved to Leeds. All oh, right. No, I, I oh, you picked up in Leeds? This morning. I tipped. When did I tip this morning? Bloody hell. Where have I been? You get like that, don't oh, you? Oh, did I order? Honestly, where the hell is Oh, right, we're there. Oh, I went to Dalton. Dalton Airfield. Oh, right. Have you been down there? I, I haven't, no. Oh, I went to Dalton Airfield, tipped there. Is it a big, a big industrial place there, is that? Aye, massive. Oh, I'll have to go then. Aye, uh, yeah. Just, if you search Dalton Airfield, you've got like, you, there's a few different companies. Like Severfield, um, you've probably heard of Severfield. Yeah, yeah. Company. Well, I weren't far from there yesterday. Aye, uh, well, they own most of it, like, to be honest with you. All right. Honestly, man, the, the amount of land that they've got. Yeah, you don't fly from there, though, now, do they? No, no, nah, nah, they don't fly from there, now. So it's a, an airfield that's changed into an industrial estate? Yeah. The, the majority of the actual airfield itself is just full of steel. Right. It's just literally piled with steel. You've got right. like steel tubing on one end and then literally just a bit further up to all steel plate. Oh, I'll have to go up and have a look. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's full, full so up. is that what you do all the time, carry steel? Uh, I just steel, yeah. So steel works. So I'm going to tip this here now, and then I'm going to Immingham, and that will uh, get me back to the North East. Yeah. What time do you start this morning? I didn't start till five this morning. That's a late start for a truck uh, driver. 
point later, to be honest with you, because uh, well, I was starting, what time did I start? I started four o'clock the day before that, and then half three the day before that. That's what I used to eat, you know, those three o'clock in the morning starts. Oh. Especially this time of year when it's bloody freezing. Nasty man, doesn't it? Like, you see, the thing is, now when you get home, it just crashes down on you on a Friday. Like, yeah. I'm always napping on a Friday. Yeah. Sometimes it's best just staying out in the car, but I go home like, the yeah. majority of the night. Yeah, when I used to do it, I couldn't lay in bed on a Saturday. Yeah, I used yeah. to get up and then I used to go and have an hour in the afternoon oh, and then I could lay in bed on, a bit on a Sunday morning. I wish I could have an hour in the afternoon but I've got a six year old daughter who just doesn't allow it like so once yeah. I'm up on a Saturday that's me up but I'm in yeah. bed by no later than nine o'clock now. Yeah. Literally I can't hack it anyway. Now my kids are all grown up, it's grandkids now. Oh, hi. It, it is bloody cold, mate. Yeah, I'm not so. It's not so much the cold. It's just that I'm getting old now. Oh, yeah, 68 now, mate. <laughs> and you have a good one. Be careful. So you obviously, you obviously know who I am then? I come down to you last time. You did? There you hey go, yo. key ring. Oh, happy days. Do you oh, want a key ring, you know, mate? Oh, yeah, well, you know, last time when I come down, I'd just come back off holiday. I know my batteries were flat, and when I go home, there were no recorded. Oh, you're joking. No, old pig's Oh, no. Well, I was looking out for it. I've not, not seen you on much, really, these past few uh, months. Well, my dad died, oh, and... Sorry, and it affected me a lot more than I thought it would, you know. Oh, yeah, can imagine. And, uh, and so I've had like three months off or so. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, mate. It was 94. You know, you can't live forever, can you? I suppose I've heard it a million times, but it's good innings, that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, do you know, apart from the last couple of weeks, it, it was bright as a spark. It were all there, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he had trouble walking and stuff, but I looked after him for the last 15 years and then all of a sudden, in, in less than two weeks, he'd gone. And, uh, and it was a bit of a blow, you know. So I thought, well, I'm going to have a few, bit of time off, you know. And uh, I've had all things, I've had all probate and all that sort okay. out, you know, because he'd got property and quite a bit of money and all right. the rest on it. So I've had to sort all that out. I'm still waiting for probate to go through the in February. It's never time. easy, is it? It's no. Drag its feet, unfortunately. No, and it was quite complicated as well. So I've had to get a solicitor on the job. That's cost yeah. me a sudden fortune. But uh, you know, yeah, you look like you're busy here anyway. Well, we've, we've set out, which is good. We've got a lot going off at the minute, really. Um, a lot of developments. Have you been over with John? Have you been up on I, I've just had a, a, a quick look, yeah. So, since you last come, we've got all this. You've expand, yeah, expanded down, over there, haven't that you? That right hand side, you'll see it. That right hand side, we're expanding. Yeah. So, we're currently having a lot of uh, soil removed, and that's going to be a concrete cap. So, it's going to, it's all going to be concreted. Batteries extending. Yeah, so you have, yeah. There's, there's a lot of development going off at the minute, which is, which is happy days. Well, it's not only that, it's job security for you lads, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. yeah. You know? Well, oh, there's no danger of that. I mean, but company and crew, it's, uh, you know, we're in a good position. It's yeah. Yeah. It and that's what you need nowadays, job security. Yeah. Not everybody's got it, have they? No. No, definitely not. So, uh, it's a scary, uh, scary environment out there at the minute. It is. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, if you get a good job where you know you're secure, you bloody hang on to it, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I don't blame you. Have you been out much with DJ, or just... I went yourself? out with him a couple of weeks ago. He, he said to me, because, you know, we're good friends like, and he said to me, it's about time you got out there again. And it had been that long since I'd done any. I'd turned into, like... A bit of a recluse, you know. I, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't want to go out no, anymore, no, no, no. you know. And he says, "Grab your stuff, and I'll come and pick you up." And they come up to my house and pick me up. 
and we went up to Hull. Right. And we had a good day out at Hull. Uh, and that just got me back on wagon again, if yeah. you know what I mean. I'm done with that. So, uh, see you back out. Yeah. I enjoy it, I like watching him. You and DJ, I do. I do, definitely. Are you seeing yesterday's? I haven't yet, no, I need to catch up, to be honest. I've had. Uh, Security were going to come out and beat me up, apparently. Bloody hell. Yeah. Oh, we're not like that here. No, no, I know you're not. No, I know you're not. <laughs> but. Uh, Where are we at? Where I was. Uh, I went to uh, John Smith's brewery at Tadcaster. All right. Uh, and it was funny because security come out right stroppy telling me I couldn't video and everything. And then I walked down the road and I'm talking to one of the managers and he's as right as rain. He didn't give a yeah, shit. Yeah. It was just, you know, typical security. Yeah. You can't do this and you I'd can't do you that. A lot of it's contracted out, innit? So I'd imagine you get. Yeah. Them. Yeah, yeah. You do see him that they don't. See it on your, your videos, they start mouthing off and yeah, totally well, wrong. And I'll, I'll be honest, majority of my videos are fairly good natured, you know, I tend to have a chat with mm. people like yourself, yeah, you know. Yeah. They're quite happy to tell me what's going off, it's just the odd one that that kicks off, you know. But yeah, having that knowledge, I do get it. it, for people sort of in their business, it is a bit worrying. You get some people that are a bit, a bit shirty and a bit don't want to be on camera and... Well, they're only on camera if they come out and talk to me. Yeah, yeah. You know, if they exactly, don't want to be yeah, on yeah. camera, they're stopping yeah, security or out yeah, of yeah. way. You know, it's it's as simple as that. If you don't want to be videoed, bugger off. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, and then I was stood uh, on the zebra crossing, which went across <laughs> their drive, and they're telling me, oh, there's wagons coming out, you'll get run over. I said, what wagons? There's nothing there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're going to get yourself killed. Have you got new wagons here? That, you know, the invisible type that nobody can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they, they, they were just, I don't know, OTT. Not everybody's like you lot here, but this is workshop, you know, everybody's friendly in workshop, yeah, exactly. aren't they? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> You're a legend around here as well. Oh, am yeah. I? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know about being a legend. Well, I just got a phone call. He's here again. Oh, hi. Don't you worry, I'll go down and see you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, good down. Oh, look at look at that lot he's got on there, eh? The so plan is when we when we develop. So what we're doing at the minute we're there where we're jigging. That's yeah. all going to be undercover in the house. But yeah, there's uh, there's plenty on. Well, you can see it yourself. Yeah. Does this weather affect you much? It does with sites more deliveries. So sites get iced off and snowed up. So we just let him. Yeah, yeah. If you wouldn't mind, friend. Yeah, you get you get sites winded off, iced off, rained off. Yeah. Um, which it's it's fair cop if it's not safe to start putting steel up. Then, yeah. If it's not safe for you know for site erectors to be putting it up, then it's understandable. But we do see a drop. We, we, you do see a bit of a difference with our pickling tanks, our acid, um, because ambient temperatures down. So yeah. when it's hotter, the steel will pickle quicker. So when it's colder, in turn, yeah, it takes yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, when the air is colder, it cools the tanks yeah, down yeah, yeah. a lot, doesn't it? So you do see a bit. Of I, I'm assuming they're all insulated as well, though. To some degree, yeah. I mean, most <coughs> of our there's a couple of our tanks that are heated, um, our process tanks, and then others are, like I say, ambient. Yeah. So our acid will it will it will affect it when it's cold. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So it's acid bath and then into the tanks to be galvanised, is it? Essentially, it's, it's a degrease acid acid bath. Um, so it sits in acid for a few hours until all the mill scales are... All this lot it's, that's it's on it. It's chemically clean, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, it becomes bright, shiny steel. Essentially, yeah. We put it to, put it through a flux blanket and then into our it's bath. It's not a flux capacitor, no, then? No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> We're not that technical. Oh, right. No, no, no. It's... Uh, one of them things galvanizing's been around many many years many and, years yeah yeah you know although we're, we're always getting better at it there's not many things changed so it's well, still quite a uh, last time i came process. there were stacks of lampposts here i believe yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we're still doing still doing columns as well um, but they're likely to be on the trailer right back at the moment right so yeah there's, uh, there's plenty going on so you got a phone call saying he's here he's here 
<laughs> and you're going, I bet I know who you're talking about. <laughs> this is the drone of it, it's off his ear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't, last time I came down, I, I didn't have the drone and I went to the other gate last right. time. Right, yeah, yeah. But now I thought I'd come down and I've, I've got some, I'm going uh, viewing the property with my daughter at two o'clock. All oh, right, okay. So I thought, well, there's this place and there's the other, the scanner place down the road. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. I'll go and have a look at them and then that give me a chance to get back and meet my daughter yeah. and go and have a look at this house she wants to see. Oh, good Yeah, well, she started coming out with me occasionally. Is she? Yeah, well, all kids have started school now. Right. So, uh, she comes out and does a bit with me, gets her out at house, you know. Yeah, she'll want paying next. <laughs> <laughs> you do all right off it, if you don't mind me asking. No, no, I do very well out yeah. of it. Yeah, you know, all these people that say get a job, and I'm, I'm probably, I'm, <laughs> earning, a, I'm, earning, I'm earning a lot more than they earn, you know. Yeah. Oh, so, because uh, I don't just put them on YouTube, I put them on Facebook as well. Yeah. But I don't tell you how much DJ's earning. Oh, I can imagine. I can, yeah. I can imagine. He's, um, I do like watching him, but he, do, he does come across quite abrasive at times. He, he and can then be. He, get, he gets it, and that's his views, isn't it? That's yeah. How it yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I was his very first subscriber. Yeah. Yeah, well, I started, and about three or four months after I started, oh, look at that lot going in on crane lot. I don't know if you can see it on oh. camera with some. Um, he messaged me and I gave him a, a ring and we spoke about what I did and everything. He says, oh, I'm going to go and have a go. And right. he put his first video on and now he's very first subscriber. Right. Did you know him before? No, no, no. Right. No, he lives down Leicester way. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, he just messaged me saying he was interested uh, in doing what I do. So, we, like I say, I phoned him and we spoke a bit. And then next thing, he let me know he was putting a video on. So I watched it and that was it, I subscribed. But he's got a lot more than me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's playing. Yeah. yeah. But like I say, he's a bit more pushy than I am. You yeah. Know. I, I've got a bit more technical knowledge <laughs> than him. Yeah, more well, your background and that, yeah. Yeah, but he's, he's um, how can we put it? He's a very clever fellow, he really is. Yeah. And he just knows how to wind people up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not so bothered about that. I'd rather find out about what yeah. the companies do. Yeah. I'm in not some ways I'm meeting him yet, but in some one day. Yeah, in <laughs> some ways I wish I I was a bit more like him or I, I carried on a bit more like him, but he gets a lot more aggro than I do. Yeah. You know, he gets a hell of a lot more aggro than I do. So, you know, I'm happy doing what I do. That's what's about, man. Yeah. Right, anyway, I'm going to bugger off. Thank no, you very much for your time. You for that, and it's nice to, uh, yeah, nice and to this one will definitely be on. Happy days. So right. What footage did you get? Did you just get across top and round? I just come up, up over this bit of yard here and look down that way and right. then looked over there. All right, yeah. So I yeah. have got a fair bit of aerial shots. No, sir. But if, you know, if you, you know, when the sun's not quite so bright, if you want me to come down and take some aerial shots and things for your website. We've had, we've had a load done professionally a lot on back. Um, if you don't mind, when your video goes up, if I can snip, am I alright to snip part of your video? Yeah, out yeah, of course you are, but you like I say, if you want some benefit. actual dedicated photos, just email me, right. and I'll come down and you tell me what you want doing, Yeah. and I'll get uh, all the aerial shots for you. Alright. You take care. And all you, right, mate. have a good day. I'll keep my eye out for you. Right, How long will it take you? A couple of days? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, it'll be on either tonight or tomorrow this. Keep me eye out, don't you worry, I'll be famous. At last. <laughs> Get in. Yeah, you're not getting any money though. Oh, okay. <laughs> you take care of yourself. And you, Doc, ta-da.